in the army of God. Hallelujah. He runs a prayer ministry in Makoti, Benue State. The interesting thing about our contingent is that we come from almost across the whole country. We have people that came from Lagos. We have people that came from Enugu. We have people that came from Otubo. We have people from Makoti. We have people from Joss. And where else? And yes, just basically. So God has just made it in such a way that we are a very healthy representation of Nigeria. Can you give a lot of As I was saying, um, brother, brother Stephen Ohina is the overseer of a prayer ministry called the Invaders. And they have a job to be on the offensive against Satan. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. They lead a prayer ministry and also a church ministry in the city of Makodi. He's also a farmer. He's into agriculture. He has a beautiful wife, children, and they do very well. He's somebody that you would like to have on your team when you are going to the war front. Can you welcome Pastor Stephen for here? Last but not the least on the team is Pastor Stephen Nkemjika. We have two Stevens on the team. Pastor Stephen is in Otupo and he runs a ministry called Make Man Ministries. He believes that God has sent him to make men. Jesus said, follow me and I will make you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And that is the ministry that God has committed into his hands, that of building the lives of men. And he has been established in the city of Odubo. He's also a son in the faith. Can you please welcome Pastor Stephen? I apologize. Because he's always working, sometimes we forget him, and when we look at him, we think he's one of the Ugandans we met. <laughs> but he's actually a Nigerian. <laughs> and he came with us, Pastor Ekene Dilichuku Andrew. Can you put your hand together for him? Hallelujah. He's a, a pastor in Christ Triumphant um, Church in Enugu, and also the personal assistant of Pastor Emmanuel. And ever since we step, stepped on this ground, he has been walking non-stop. Can you please appreciate this man of God? Thank you very much. This is the team from Nigeria. Everybody loves to go to the place where he feels received and welcome. Can we once again welcome? What surprised me about this team, she's in the city, that um, their passion for national transformation. They are both pastors and they're also busy people in the marketplace. So that means something in national transformation, that you're not only casting out demons, but you're also doing something about it. Yes. Because revival is not a miracle, but a strategy. So that's why we're in this room, this strategy is for national transformation. Yes. And every single person you find in this room, that is the passion. Actually, everyone who is in here, his heart is burning to see transformation. So can you celebrate yourself for that? <laughs> what I forgot to mention is that uh, it's like almost the entire Nigeria is represented here. These are, are, are people who have come to the, from the different parts of the, of the nation of Nigeria. We have, I think, Lagos represented. Abuja represented, just represented, Enugu. So almost the four corners of Nigeria are being represented. So the whole Nigeria is here. We are going to back a new nation in this room as well. Yes, so, because we have so much to do and if we have little time, we will have time to do this one by one as we get along and read profiles because everyone in this room, this room is big, really seriously. But uh, allow me to introduce my senior in the prayer ministry who is going to invite the bishop to come. And the, and my name is Daniel Batamze. I'm the deputy minister in charge of prayer in the National Fellowship. 
Pastor Dom Sokel is the minister in charge of prayer. So please, can you receive my senior speaker? Hallelujah. Amen. We want to bless the name of the living God for this wonderful morning that he has given us. Thank you, Apostle Dr. Daniel Batamze, for coordinating all this. He's behind all the coordination. We thank God for the visitors who have come all the way from the Nigerian country, great nation, one of the greatest nations on the continent of Africa. In Nigeria, the United States of Africa, yeah. Yeah. the US of Africa, in Nigeria. So when you have these journals of the Lord in our land of Uganda, the power of Africa, we are very, very encouraged. Thank you so much. Thank you for the servants from within, from the nation, from the capital city of Uganda, that's Kampala, and, then, and from across the different parts of the nation. Thank you. We invited just a few leaders a few leaders to be with us these three days here when we are going to be sharing. Okay, you know my sometimes mics here. You excuse us. Because of the event that came our way, COVID-19. So we want to thank God for this meeting, indoor meeting. We would have we would have called many, many have leaders all across the nation of Uganda, in the churches and also in the marketplace. But we decided to invite a few of them and others will be joining us. Some few others will be joining us to testify about what the Lord is doing in this country. They will give you, they will give you testimonies, some few killers in the nation as the days go along. So today I'm just going to welcome our bishop. This bishop is, uh, is very, very one of the most influential Ugandans in the church and in the marketplace. One of the most. If you found the top ten, I think he's one of them in the nation who can both influence the nation, I mean the, the churches, and also government, and also government and marketplace leaders. So he's very, very, very well sought after. And having him here, he was supposed to have another meeting. Uh, it was still continuing, but he excused them. And he told them I have to go and speak to my brethren from Nigeria. So he had to forego another meeting, which was ongoing, and then spared for us these few nights, three nights to be with us. He's the general overseer of the National Fellowship of Born Again Pentecostal Churches of Uganda. It is the biggest, the biggest unity fellowship in Uganda. Over 30,000 Pentecostal and Evangelical Churches in Uganda. He represents us on the National Interreligious Council. He's one of the presidents, or five presidents of the Interreligious Council of Uganda. So he's one of the five and also he leads the National Fellowship as our general overseer. He appoints us to lead, that's he appointed me to be the minister for prayer across the country, over those many churches, and I've been a minister for over 10 years, even before him, I was. And also, Dr. Batamze is my deputy minister, and he, but he's also involved in other prayer initiatives across the country and the globe. So we're glad to be here. We have our, one, of us, one of our seniors, one of the, our chief elders in the Pentecostal Churches of Uganda. He's here with us, Elder Pastor Peterson. So he's a great farmer, but also he's a pastor, businessman. Pastor Peterson, so thank you for honoring this. Your presence here is a great honor. So Bishop Yosualwele is a doctor, Bishop. He's, got, he's married with children.